today I'm going to be installing. Yeah, getting down and dirty. Today I'm going to be installing new exhaust system, new pipes on 2004 Softail Deuce. These are the stock pipes that came with the bike. I was going to go uh, with Vance and Hines. I wanted two into two. I like that classic look. It was either going to be uh, the short shots or the radius. I checked both options look really, really nice. Lines of my bike fits it better to have that radius bend to it. Let's start by ripping the bike apart. The heat shields first. Maybe I'll actually just take the, the headers off and it will all come uh, out as one piece. I think it's all out, ready to go. We did it. One piece. Let's see the new exhaust. Let's see what we have. Let's try to figure out how to put this together. I forgot, I don't have uh, O2 sensors. It's an old bike and this, this exhaust comes with uh, O2 sensor uh, inlet. So I need plugs, O2 sensor plugs. And for some reason it doesn't come with gaskets and I thought it would come with the gasket, exhaust gaskets. I go to Torque Custom Cycles to Mike, he always helps me out. So I'm going there and then I'll continue. If not today, then tomorrow. That is what I needed. It's now the next day. I went to Tor Custom Cycles. I picked up the exhaust uh, header gaskets and plugs, uh, exhaust plugs. They're not new, but they're in the backside. Nobody sees them. He had them laying around, so I just took them. Continue this install, okay? Yesterday I had some time, and if you're following the channel and the progress of this, uh, this build, you notice that, you see the light over here? I actually changed that. Oh, can you actually see? Or is camera's too far away. Let me get closer to you. This light right here, I changed it. I put it a LED light and I said before that I wasn't able to find, let me grab the camera, I was unable to find from Custom Dynamics, you know, because nobody makes these anymore. So I actually found on Amazon, I found this uh, LED light and I wanted it specifically silver slash chrome as much as I can because the red that I had before was just no, there was no contrast. It wasn't contrasting with, uh, with the red fender. Before it was, it was all red. So red fender, red light, it didn't look right. Now I got some contrast over here. So what do you guys think? Let me get the, the exhaust ready. So let me show you what else I did while the camera was off yesterday. I was able to take this bracket that comes with the set and connect it over here. There were two plastic plugs that I took out from here and connected this bracket. Hopefully it's in the right place. Here I had the stock bracket that held the previous pipe. I took it off and reconnected the passenger peg over here. That is one thing I did. Additionally, if you know, if you've installed um, an exhaust in the past, usually take the flanges. This is the flange. Right there, you take the flanges off the previous uh, exhaust and you also use the ring that comes, the snap ring. So now you're using the old flange from the old pipe on the new pipe, on the new header. So that's what I did. I'm gonna clean up a little bit the, the rust off the bolts that I had. Clean it up a little bit so it goes in a little bit easier. Now I'm gonna be prepping the the top, the headers, put the, they say to put the, the heat shields on the headers. And then the lower part, you put the heat shields after it's installed. So let me do that. Okay, let me put the, the O2 sensor caps in, because we don't have, on this old model, we don't have O2 sensors. And we do want to use anti-seize paste, anti-seize oil, anti-seize stuff. I don't know what it's called, anti-seize something material so it doesn't once it heats up and there are heat cycles it doesn't uh freeze up and uh bond forever like hot fusion there you go that's one that's what stopped me from completing the job yesterday i'm 
Now we'll connect the heat shields on the top. I'm putting uh, these clamps in such a way. Orientation, it's easier later on to work. The screwdriver, putting the screwdriver on once it's on the bike. So obviously you can put it this way, you can put it that way. So you gotta put it on the bike to see how it's gonna fit and then figure it out. Because like this, it's gonna be situated like that on the bike and it's gonna be easier for me to come with the screwdriver from here. Just realize that there are two sizes of clamps. There's the bigger ones and the smaller ones. The top of the head, the diameter is smaller. Use the smaller clamps. There you go. Oh yeah, we need to put the gaskets, the exhaust, the header gaskets. Now these, they tend to fall. First of all, take a look. You see that they are slightly conical. There's a flat base on one side and there there's a pointy base. You put the pointy base towards you, the, fat the flat base in the bike itself that way. Now to make it fit, you just bend it a little bit and then it won't tend to fall, fall out from here. There you go. If you don't squash it, it falls. So that's why you give it a little, now it's in place. What do you say, start with the back one? This camera is not making life easy for me. And the flange is in. Okay, nope. I don't know why they said to put the, the heat shields on first. Doesn't help much. It's actually in the way even. I would actually suggest to Put the heat shield on last. Why did they tell me to do it first? I don't know. It's just in the way now. Should I take them off? I think it's a better idea actually to put the heat shield in last. Okay, I'm gonna try it without uh, the, the heat shield. I think I'm gonna get easier, easier access to the, to the nuts over here. Yeah, of course, you can see what you're doing. You can see the, exactly what you're doing. Whether you're using your bare fingers or using with a tool, you got access. Okay, I got the bottom one on. Now let me get the support over here with this piece in the back. Okay, now I've got, now I've got weight supported. Now it's gonna be easier to get right here into this, this nut right here. There you go. Just work it in. And that's it. I'm not going to tighten it too much because later on after everything is installed, you want to have it loose. So then you can fit it and tighten it when it's all set in place. Now I'm going to put the, uh, the other uh, bolt for the bracket and then I'll put the heat shield on. No, actually I'll put the heat shield on. I'll put the heat shield on last. Let's go to the front. Same thing. I'm going to take uh, the... Uh... Okay, here acts as a little bit better. Access to the bottom one. I can only get it in the right way. Oh, so I got it. Now I'll put the support on the back. See how it grabs? It grabs from the back. The bolt goes through the bracket into the dog bone, they call it, I think. I think it's called a dog bone. Actually got it properly in. Good. Now let's go back to the front. Oh, here there's way better access. Yeah, and it's on properly. That's good. Now the trick is you need to tighten them both at the same time. A little bit here, a little bit there. So it's not crooked. So it's not crooked one way. So you a little bit here, a little bit there until the drills, it goes in further, further deep. Don't get all nasty with your thoughts, okay? It's just putting an, installing an exhaust, okay? You know, a pipe for a motorcycle, not, not something else. So a little bit over here, then a little bit on that side. And 
then we're going to do the other side. A little bit on this side, and then go to the back, the other side. Right now we're crushing the gasket a little bit. That's what, that what, that's what creates the seal. And finally, here. Then we'll put the heat chills on. Clean it up and start it up. I'd highly recommend to do what I just did. Just start with the, the header pipe, then put the heat chills on. I can see it's so much easier. It's not a problem to get it in now to, to engage it, so. Uh, I think that was the better way. A better way on is the heat shields last on the the back header. Let's let's say that. Okay. You don't want it too tight because remember it expands. Everything moves, so it doesn't need to be too tight. Okay, heat shields uh, nicely tightened, not too tight. Now we're gonna go to the lower part, prep these as well. we'll start with the top, top right here. We have the thicker, bigger, wider diameter clamps. See, I got. Uh, the clamps ready because I want to be able to to access it from the top so it fits that is the truth so let me close these down first and how far back is it supposed to go all the, all the way to the top like is it supposed to touch it's to go on top and between I'm not sure let me tighten it and then I'll check online if they're supposed to be like if there's a gap over here if it's a, one is supposed to be on top of the other I'm not quite sure do you guys know have you installed the radius? Do you know if there's, if one is supposed to be like on top of the other or this way or just touching? Do me a favor, let me know below because then I'll fix it accordingly. There's a lot of oil now from my hands while I install it. So before we start it up, we need to clean it up to, to, to degrease it because otherwise it burns, the oil burns and it stains the chromes. That's one thing we're gonna do. Okay, I think we got a nice finish over here. It's it's not one on top of the other, but it's it's nicely fitted. So I wonder if that's the final way it's supposed to look. So let me just put this one on as well. Yeah, getting down and dirty. Ooh, looking nice already. Didn't even clamp it down and it's looking good. Come on, grab. Nope. Yeah. Let me clean it up. Very cool. One important and really important thing I forgot to tell you that all the parts over here that you see that I bought the, the Vance and Heinz radius uh, exhaust and the SNS cycle air cleaner I bought at motorcycledepot.com. That's where I get my stuff lately. Check them out. I'm going to have a link down below to all the products that I got. Check it out. Check out that website. Pretty cool. So that's where I picked up my stuff. Check it out. Finally, without further ado, let me start it up. And mind you, it still needs to be tuned. It's gonna go for a, a dyno tune session at Tour Custom Cycles. Just the air filter is new and the exhaust is new. So let's start it up. You ready? I'm excited. Now, let me put you closer.
right, guys, hope you're enjoying this one. Peace out.